who is this? Who would you say this guy is? Who is this? Uh. Who is this? I met all these beautiful people in Illinois. You know where our Kelly from, but I ain't finna get on that. Hi YouTube, it's Yolanda. Now this big lie that's been told about Cesar Borger being the Messiah has got to stop. The Messiah is a very dark skinned man with hair like wool, and that's a fact, according to scripture. And the most high, he hates lies. So I'm going to ask people who this man here is. And see what response I get. Y'all ready? Let's go. Who is this? Uh, that's supposed to be Jesus right there. Okay. Yeah. Who do you think it is? Honestly, as I as I grow up and I find out more information, I don't I don't think I don't think that this person is Jesus. Okay. This man named right here is Caesar Borgia. Yeah. <laughs> he is Pope Alexander the Sixth's illegitimate son, and they lied and painted this image all over the world to deceive us to make us believe that this man is the Messiah. Yeah. According to the scripture. The Messiah is a very dark skinned man with hair like wool. Yep. Okay? That's in the scripture. That's in Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 through 15, saying, In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like to the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot, mm -hmm. with a girdle about the paps and a golden girdle. Yeah. His head and his hair were white like wool. Yeah. It's Who on one, the planet? It's only one type of person with wool hair, mm -hmm. you feel me? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm sure you done seen all these images too right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's so big. this it's all yeah. a lie. It's yeah, all a lie. Yeah, that's some other person. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so, I, it, I mean, what we got to do is we got to repent. We the people. We the we people. chosen people. That's it. Yeah. That's it. For sure. Yeah. Caesar Borger, how dare you steal the image of the Messiah. Caesar Borger, a Italian man. This man was not a Hebrew or a Jew, but his face was used to deceive this whole world into believing that he was the Messiah. These images was painted around 1520. Caesar Borger was the illegitimate son of Pope Alexander VI crazy. So you had Caesar Borger with your mistress. Wow. Caesar Borger, you ain't even dark skinned and don't have coarse hair like the Bible say you supposed to look. Now I see why one of the most well, highest commandments was to not make any graven images, but y'all did it anyway. Wow. So what if I told you that the Messiah is a very dark skinned man with hair like wool, according to the scripture. I believe it. You would believe it? I would believe it. Why? Yes. I have heard that. And plus, he was a Middle Eastern. Middle Eastern is that's a new term. He walked in Israel and in Egypt, and that's in Africa. Yeah. And according to scripture, um, the book of Revelation, so it's Revelation chapter 1, verse 13 through 15 says, In the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man stood clothed with the garment down to the foot and a girt about the paps with the golden girdle. His head and his hairs were white like wool. -like. So who on the planet has woolly hair? Yes. Yeah, right? Yeah. And his feet were unto fine brass as if they burned in a furnace. So that's very, very dark. Mm -hmm. So this image has been depicted everywhere. And it's been one of the biggest lies that is now coming forth. 
Um, everybody is waking up to who the true Messiah is. So th there's nowhere in the scriptures that you can find a description of a man that looks like this. So what do you guys think? I mean, would you still love him knowing that he's a very dark-skinned man with woolly hair? Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't see why not. <laughs>when he was 22 years old. Caesar Borgier was a sick and perverted man. He died March 1507.
keep my commandments. So we all got to make sure that it's we keep in the most high God, God laws, statutes, and commandments. There's still so many people that still believe that Cedar Borger is the Messiah. But that just makes me speak the truth and spread the truth even harder. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to the Most High and to His soon coming Son, the Messiah, the King of Israel. I love y'all. And until the next time, Most High, y'all willing, Shalom.